Here in West Allis, hundreds of students walk to school every day, so protecting them from oncoming traffic is of the utmost importance. These cars do not slow down very well. And so it's a big deal, this safety for our children. As the weather gets warmer and the trees start to bloom, more kids will be walking to and from school. But with cars speeding by, <laughs> parents like Katie Forrester would like to see crossing guards controlling traffic because kids can be unpredictable. You know, they jump right out too. You know, sometimes they just don't know and they just go for it. As can drivers. It's like, wow, people just need to slow down a little bit, take a little more time, you know, it's. There's no need to rush. But after Wisconsin Personal Protection Services went out of business, crossing guards are few and far between. Police and districts in the area got the news less than 24 hours before the start of the school day. Shorewood was forced to fill 11 spots at the last minute, one of eight districts impacted. It's the first time in 15 years the village has had problems with the company. And it's the only local one here that we have that uh, offers the services, and they've been responsive to our needs all through the years that I've been dealing with them. Now they're all looking for long term solutions, something Forrester would like to see sooner than later. I hope so, <laughs> like tomorrow, <laughs> you know, it would be nice. Otherwise, well, I'm ready to go stand out there myself <laughs> if I had to. Throughout the region, local officials are trying to figure out plans for the future. Shorewood will be addressing the situation tonight at the village board meeting. Reporting in West Alice, Lauren Linder, today's TMJ4.